Hello, hello, everybody. Today we are going to be attempting to black out the mirrors. I've never done this before, and I figured might as well try this out before just buying new mirrors, um, just seeing what we can do with them. The way we are going to do this, oh, and by the way, if you need to take off the mirrors, just crack out, just crack the nut on the bottom and then you just literally just twist the mirror all the way around, super simple. So what you're gonna need is obviously sandpaper. So we need to sand down the finish on this, get all the chrome off. And by the way, if you're going to do that, do that in a well-ventilated area. Uh, I'm probably gonna do this outside. I am also wearing a mask, um, wear gloves, safety, PPE, all that other good stuff. And then you're also going to need a cleaner to get off all of the dust and the grime and everything else um, from after you're sanding it because you want to make sure you have a very clean surface uh, for the primer to adhere to. Just so that way you, you don't get flaking and the paint coming off and all that other good stuff down the line. I'm going to mask off the mirror just so when we're spray painting it, uh, we don't get anything on the mirror. And so what you're going to need is... Um, I've seen a couple different things. I've seen people just use regular primer. I've seen people use self-etching primer. I went ahead and got self-etching primer. I'm actually not even sure if this is the right thing to use, but I got automotive enamel. I tested it, spray painted this black with gloss, so that'll go with the, the finish of the handlebars and the tank and the fender, kind of the fairing. If you're gonna be doing this, make sure you are in a very well-ventilated area. The particles that can come off of this, I think it's called chromium. Uh, are apparently very cancerous, so wear PPE, gloves, masks, all that other good stuff, and just make sure you are in a very well-ventilated area just to protect yourself. So hopefully that'll work. I have absolutely no idea if this is gonna work or not, so uh, this is either gonna be a how-to guide or what not to do guide, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then if I mess it up, then I'll just buy the, buy the mirrors anyway. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. later all right so i have finished sanding all the mirrors and <laughs> pieces and parts down with the 80 grit um you can see how well worn this is um so now we're gonna go it go ahead and do it with the 220 but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and try and clean everything up a little bit just to get rid of any remaining dust that may be lingering on there. And now we will get started on the 220 grit. Um, this is just to make a little bit more of a even, uh, even surface. Um, that's still a little bit a little bit etched you can see here there's a lot of deep grooves it actually feels pretty smooth um but there's a lot of, you can see there's a lot of deep grooves and so this is going to help even it out just a little bit more while still preserving some of those etchings for the primer to hold on to so we're <laughs> we're just going to repeat that whole step once again Eventually. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and mask off the mirrors. Thank you. 
All right, so now we are close to ready to put on the primer. Um, here we have our <laughs> makeshift paint station. So one thing to keep in mind, once you've sanded everything down, it looks clean now, but because I did touch this with my bare hands, there's now oils on it. So now we gotta clean it off again. And I'm gonna try and just do everything in one go, in one pass. Probably not the right thing to do, but at least this way you can learn from my mistakes. And by the way, I just hung this up with some uh, very strong, I think like 50 pound <laughs> fishing string, fishing line. So this is what I've used in the past. I've actually used this before when I painted my, the radiator on my computer. It's water cooled. So I used the same method and it came out pretty well. So I'm hoping it will also come out pretty well in this as well. And I'm gonna leave this screw just slightly undone just so that way I can uh, really get in there with the paint, but not get too much paint on the, on the threads. But now we have cleaner on the inside of that so I need to wipe that all down. And um, you do want to warm this up so usually just leave it out in the sun. Um, sun's not the right angle for me today so I've just been uh, shaking it and actually kind of holding onto it with my hands to warm it up. So I was kind of shaking it and holding onto it for a few minutes. That's what she said! <laughs> so once again this is self-etching primer. This is Rust-Oleum, so because we took off that protective layer, layer of chrome, we're now exposing some of whatever the metal is. <laughs> so just to be overkill, just to make sure that we don't get any rust or anything like that. I don't think we have to worry about it with this, but this is an experiment, so we'll see how it goes. If you have never spray painted before, you want to do sweeping, you want to go past it. Um, you don't want to stop because then you're focusing on whatever areas you stop. So you want to spray past the point and then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I wasn't just focusing down there and you didn't get catch any of the spraying. I think it's dry, dry pretty quick too. But we'll give that 15 or so minutes. Let that hang out, let that dry. Thing. And then we will go on to the spray paint. So hopefully this was a good investment. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll be back soon. All right, so it's been some time. And now you can see how the primer has come off. Or how <laughs> you can see how well the primer's gone on. And it actually looks pretty good um, from my untrained eye from what I as far as I can tell looks pretty good so now we are going to be putting on the automotive enamel gloss black spray paint yeah <laughs> all right same as before sweeping motions um, don't linger in an area because that's where you get pulling so if you want a nice even coat again start cross stop Hopefully the wind dies down so we'll be able to get a nice even finish without too much overspray. 
That's right. first coat. Let that dry. See how it turns out. All right, so I brought it inside because it was getting pretty windy and well I brought it in to dry anyway um, but I'm gonna try and paint it in here because it's getting a little too windy outside and there was already getting I was already getting some uh, some noticeable amounts of dust on there um, which is obviously not what you want to paint on. So I'm going to try to put on a secondary coat inside and hopefully this will, I mean it's not looking too bad actually, it's looking pretty good from what I can tell. For a few hours, I think these mirrors look <laughs> surprisingly good, to be honest. Um, so let's go ahead and get these off and see if we can get off everything and see how it all looks. Um, be very delicate with how I handle it, and then uh, maybe let it dry for a little bit longer before we try and put it back on the bike. But let's go ahead and put our razor blade. Oh no, <laughs> I just scratched that. Oh. oh my god, I can't believe I've done that. I can't believe you've done this. <sighs> okay, well, we'll let this hang out for a little bit longer um, and then we'll put that on the bike and we'll see if I can fix that up somehow. Before I put the mirrors back on, I did put on another coat to try and hide the scratch. I let it dry for another six hours and then put the mirrors back on with some Loctite. It seems that some others have had some issues putting on the aftercoat and there were no explicit directions in the can to add one, so I left it as is. Overall, I'm very pleasantly surprised at how well it came out and how it's holding up. I've ridden about 500 miles since putting it on and it's held up pretty well so far. All in all, I spent about $30 for this project, a few hours of time, and I'm very happy with how it came out. As is the theme with the bike, it's got some perfections, and by no means is this a professional job, but that's kind of the beauty of it all. As always, everybody, be brave, do good, take care of yourselves, and I will see you later.